disclaimer, everything expressed in this video are my own opinions and are based on my own experiences in JP Opera Omnia. I do recommend you do your own research before going to town with bad takes. Thank you. After spending countless hours playing StarCraft, you must construct additional pylons. I got the bright idea. What happens if you put two characters in Opera Omnia together, both doing very similar things, one has a burst whereas another one doesn't, and that is an example that I'm going to be using in this video, Luna Freya versus Braska, and to see which one comes out on top. <laughs> When I first saw Braska, I thought he looked decent, his robe is nice, very well designed, and then I did a background search on him since I never knew who he was. To what I found is Yuna's father and I can see it, he passed his fashion sense on to her, it makes sense. And then I saw that he was a summoner, and to confess I don't know what that means, I haven't played the rest of the Final Fantasy games from number 7 since I lost interest and seeing he is a Final Fantasy X character, I don't know what the summoner means in that context, but I actually thought he would be great, his animations are smooth, him partnering up in a Mitadalian is questionable, but I was genuinely excited for Braska when he was announced. Was. Past tense. Now every character suffers from what I like to call MSN, Missing Nose Syndrome. I do understand that it is the style of the game and I do like it, but when you look at Braska, I think he gets the worst of it. I mean, he looks like every Bratz character in existence. Moving on, so I thought that Braska would actually be really cool and I thought to myself, how bad could he actually be? Now the main problem I used to have with characters in this game, I always had the misconception that every new character was going to be overpowered and then Vincent Aldi came out to global and you know what happened there. So when I played with Braska in a party, I thought he would do some interesting stuff that would make my mind explode. I would get so hyped about using him in every single fight and I was very wrong in that assessment. But anyway, back to my original point, I mentioned that I always think every character will be powerful and contribute in some way. And many do, I mean, healers have their job, debuff evasion characters help out, the tanks protect us, so I thought to myself, hey, Braska could be the ultimate healer for me, since I enjoy support characters in this game. But with him, fuck he was bad. His skill 1 does help with healing and charging up the force gauge a bit, which is average at best, and his force ability is called mixture power. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking name is that? But after maxing him out and gaslighting myself into thinking that he was good, I slowly started to burst that bubble and realized he was below average. Also, his voice doesn't help either. <laughs> I actually remember the moment it struck me that he was terrible. It was right after the final Aeon fight. That's when the cold truth hit me. And it struck the nerve that was keeping me back from accepting that Braska was a waste of my resources. Now that I know I've been horrible to this character, I'm just going to move on to the next part. Can he save you? Probably not. In conclusion, is Braska that bad? No, he's not. I think he's actually okay, just average. He isn't like Luna Freya or like Yuna or the silver haired twat, but I think he isn't necessary to get unless you really like him. Do I think he is needed a must have character? No, I don't think so. Do I think his force weapon is just horse shit? No, I don't think so. Everyone can decide for themselves which force weapons they desire and which ones they'll pass on, and that is okay. As for Braska, I'll most likely skip him on global, but who knows? They say you never know what the future holds, so maybe I'll go for him. Maybe. But anyway, let's move on to Luna Freya. The only reason why I know Luna Freya's name is from Kingsclave, you know, that movie that came out, and looking back, her facial expressions reminded me of someone. If you know, you know. My dog stepped on a bee. Back to my impressions, so I feel that Luna is not bad at all, in fact she is an excellent support unit. 
3 turns with the LD, allowing a character to gain turns if she reaches 4 stacks of a Trident Overhead buff, a sick animation with a burst, she does stand out. Now, I actually didn't understand as to why some people were upset about her getting a burst, because I was like, who the hell actually cares? But then I asked some people as to why, and with my own research, Luna is a wallflower in her own game. Apparently she was supposed to have some important role in Final Fantasy XV, but that never happened and she replaced Stella, who I felt had more potential. Aside from that, she looks incredibly boring in Final Fantasy XV. I just feel bad for the people who waited years for something good, only to be greeted with something mediocre. Anyway, as I said, Luna does stand out. Now looking at what Luna Freya can do for the party, I am not surprised that people do wonder. She is an excellent force gauge character. She can churn out a bit of damage herself with the EX, the LD and of course she can heal the party. She has a great kit. Now I won't be discussing a burst effect or a weapon since it will be unfair towards Braska. He doesn't have one in this game. Now let's see which character comes out in terms of my scoring system that I'll discuss in the conclusion. Let's start with Braska since he was the first character that I discussed in this video. Now what do I rank him out of? Most likely a 4 out of 10, which is sad because I genuinely thought he had the potential to be great. Turns out he is just average, he's quite generic, he's not bad, he's not overpowered, He's just average, he's just in the middle. So for him, it is in fact a 4 out of 10. So for Luna Freya, however, she gets a higher score and I'm sure most of you probably thought that she would win. And guess what? You are 100% correct. For Luna Freya, I'll be giving her an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend people go for her. I don't know anything about her like I've said before. All I know is that she's some kind of princess that's irrelevant in her own story. That's about it. I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video, I had a lot of fun making this, especially editing, this was a lot of fun, and who knows, maybe I'll do another character versus character, I don't know what I'm going to call the series yet, but we shall see, in between Shinry you guys and whatnot, I knew that I needed a break, and this was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it, if you want me to do more, let me know down in the comments, but other than that, goodbye.